What's up friends, this is Money and welcome to me reacting to a video from pretty much exactly one year ago where I criticized Warlbots back then, but in a very, very good way. I've been sent this video by you guys many times because this is considered to be one of my best ever vid made videos and it's not going to be a rant, promise. It is, however, uh, really uh, like addressing issues that were standing there for one year ago and looking at it today is very interesting and there's a chance you have never seen this video so let's go for it and show you what we were criticizing and talking about a year ago okay let's what's up friends of the good mood this is money and welcome the to old intro video that is really nasty here oh real nasty that's wrong with war robots or a lot of the oh. things things that need to stop and yes. I'm not just talking about the 200 ads that you need to press away before Look at you this. even can get into your freaking hangar. It's which really is crazy. Really, really pathetic, Pixonic. Seriously. It is. Uh, but um, yeah. what I'm talking about here is these absolute balancing disasters remember and this i don't know how this happens every time it seems to be intentional because it's not the first time yep, yep. um we have problems with skins uh regular emugi versus the new ardent emugi take a look to the right is the regular emugi to the left is the new ardent emugi same weapons same everything same modules take a look at the hp look at that difference man dude it's supposed to be in the, in the beginning, you can see it here. There's supposed to be an HP difference of 335,000 <laughs> versus 315,000 like 5 HP. to 10%. There's supposed to be like a 5% HP difference. Yeah. Take a look at this. This is a 300% difference. And it keeps happening. We're not stupid, Pixonic. We do <laughs> realize that this is an intentional thing. This you is can't me. You tell me it's an accident that this happened with the Seraph with the new Seraph skin mm -hmm. that was next to impossible to kill because of its hitbox problem that accidentally entered the game as the yeah. new skinned version came. Right. Uh, then it happened with the Cruel Angler. I'll show you in a second. I and agree with me. And now we have it with the Ardent Emugi. And you're seeing I'm raising my voice because I'm pissed off. Yeah. It keeps happening and it's wrong and it's stupid. And I'm, I've, I have the feeling you think that we're stupid. Like, we don't <laughs> know that. We don't notice this. We do. Of course, you can't just say, oh, the new skin version has 60% more HP because people would be outraged by yep. it. They would be angry but about it. But this is exactly it, the same. So. so what you do instead, you act like this is a bug that enters <laughs> the game. And every time there's a new skin, the, the new skin version somehow beats the previous one by like 60 70 percent has some and have you noticed that ever since i made this video this kind of stopped the skin bugs with you know is magically uh, bypassing firepower it stopped after that or at least wasn't very prominent afterwards so every now and then i feel like pixonic needs a little swift kick in the butt and uh and this was one of them. And Pixonic has told me that this ban with my press account, it was a long time coming. <laughs> Maybe it was a year coming. <laughs> Who knows? Some hidden resistance. Oh, man. Take a look at this. I'm still firing at the guy with the repair amplifier. Yeah. This thing is almost healing as fast as I can kill it. Here we had yep. an older gameplay situation from when this same cruel angler was with the ardent, no, sorry, with the cruel angler. Yep. Regular angler was already ridiculous, overpowered, hard to kill, stupidly broken. <laughs> and then came the cruel angler with its new hitbox problem that basically overnight made the angler an impossible to kill thing. You yep. literally needed three or four people to shoot down one cruel I remember it because 70% or 80% of your firepower would just pass right through mm -hmm. because there's a hitbox issue. You see it right here. That you just saw what this same Typhon did to the Imugi at 200, 300 meters range, right? That same Typhon at 300 meters. And I'm shooting that cruel angler right here. He barely takes a hit from it. Look, listen to this guy. You know what he's talking about. <laughs> he's barely suffering. Look at his HP. That should be one shot with my weapons. I'm yeah. reloading, and that cruel angler simply Look. doesn't get hit. You can literally see how my shots pass through him and hit the wall behind him, and it needs to stop. 
Pixonic, I love you guys. I love war robots, but you're really, really messing up a few things. And sometimes you're doing it on purpose, and that really drives me up the wall. Right. And uh, and this is something I've always said that I have the heart, the the good of the game in mind. I don't want to hurt the game and just you know um, crap on. No. I, I I love the game and I want this thing to succeed. I want it to stop suck, stop it to suck, and improve it. And that is what I have been trying all along. Yeah, sometimes maybe my word choices aren't maybe optimal, but I have always spoken out on issues that existed, and that is from the beginning. And this is also why you guys follow me for such a long time, because you know. It's not in my nature to ignore problems. Sometimes maybe it's even a little bit too much. I understand that too. Uh, but there are certain metas that are so annoying and so detrimental to the health of the game that I simply cannot stop mentioning it until it helped. It, 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 the situation is improved. The Newton meta was one such. You guys could be doing so much more, so much better. Okay, yeah. and I think you're better than this. You don't need to build in. By the way, I didn't even get the kill, even though it was my kill. Free yeah, Fall didn't weird. reward me with that kill. It's just a different bug. Um, but you're better than this. You don't need to hide power boosts and power updates behind accidents and mm. skins. If you want this new skin to be 60% more resistance to damage, then at least have the, the courage to say so and say, you know right. what, guys, be we're upfront. changing the rules. The new skins are now 60% harder to kill. We want it because we need we need you guys to be more interested <laughs> in them. So here we go. But this but you're stopped not being later, right? About it. You're, you're, you're hiding it behind and... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is actually a mistake or is a bug. But how can this bug keep happening over <laughs> and over again with the Sarah, yep. with the Angler, and now with the Imugi? Can you pl at least understand my point of view, Pixonic, that I'm starting to get the feeling that this is no accident? It keeps mm. happening all over the place every single time. Yeah, yeah. Take a look at this prime example here. Uh, oh, no, wait a minute. That was the Angler. Let's go forward. We have had this, enough of this. You know, we don't have angler. to watch all of it. Because it's like... I'm not stupid. I see this. When yeah. I shoot at them, I notice there is something going wrong. Every they player would be notice. They taking more damage. Same as, same as the, uh, the Seraphs the difference. with the new skin it's when insane. they came should have been taking more damage. Look, 300% speed boost now, uh, or uh, the, the footage, the uh, repair... <laughs> I can't even kill it. <laughs> and he's actually taking less damage what the heck? than I can do to him. All right, let's go forward. From Nanny, but... Since I've seen it, that the you're like, whoa! I didn't expect this reaction from Manny, but since I've maybe seen you it did with the, with, the, with the Seraph, and I already, you know, okay, forward. You there are more things that I address in this video. Man, you have another buff, or wh which could be yet another intentional thing. Oh, you wanna bypass the new problem that accidentally entered the game? How about you <laughs> use the new weapon, Claude Joe and Talon, because they don't have a problem with it. But you right, know, it's not like because these new Avalanche weapons, they actually hit perfectly and they completely ignored the hitbox issue. <laughs> so I was, I was mocking it that uh, yeah, if you just use use the new weapons, those this problem didn't. Or any explosive weapon for that matter. Also here, spear um, New weapon as too. a laser weapon with perfect accuracy doesn't seem to care either. The difference between the ardent imugi and the regular imugi is normal. Yeah. That's how the difference and should be. And spear was right? relatively new imugi too. should go down one shot after the regular imugi because that's the difference. Here, double redeemer just shows how much they pack a punch now. By the way, Awesome job, Pixonic. I love that you bring See? back the older Redeemer back into the game. It's a legendary weapon. It received really good buffs. And it's a punchy weapon that sounds cool, feels cool. It does right. So yeah. I, I'm not, I just want to say here, I, there are so many things I love about this game, but there are some things that are really clearly going wrong. Not to mention the lags, the hackers, all those oh, problems man. that don't seem to take priority, you know? You're and the same problems we're still talking about today. Now, this is really insane. The fact that all of what I've just mentioned is still in the petition that we have made, it's not being addressed. This is insane. How can you ignore such, such big issues for such a long time? And this is, I said this here uh, a year ago because the problem even then existed for years and wasn't being addressed, right? So it's like a systematically ignorance is that even a word, of uh, of these issues, as if they wouldn't matter. Even though those are, like, literally the most mattering... <laughs> I think I'm creating new words here. Uh, words, uh, uh, problems in the uh, in the world. You're always 
always great at adding new content to the game, and I would yeah. never complain. Compare it, uh, <laughs> I would never complain about new content being added to our Come on, brain. robots. Because for all I care, you can add as much as you want. But at first, you gotta take care of the problems that have been, you know, upset. Yeah. Right. So let's go to and the when next you thing. you want to change a pilot. Oh this is man. A completely different Don't get me started on this. Now. Oh. Calm down, Manny. I have said what I needed to say <laughs> about the skin version. I said that I don't think it's an accident anymore. Yeah. And I think and I ask you, Pixonic, please change that. Talk it's about pilots. Cool, and we're not stupid. We noticed that, okay? Uh, the next thing I want to say is a completely different topic. Uh, yeah. Something that really annoyed me from day one, actually. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's about uh, pilots Insane. and changing Part of the skills. petition. You know, you have a level 70 pilot here, Sam Stone, okay? Um, and uh, you want this guy from a different robot onto this leech. Now, Sam Stone improves the power of atomizers, for example, because they heat up slower. slower. Now, maybe Sam Stone was previously mounted on, um, on a Typhon robot, okay? But now, I want him to be mounted to this leech. Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, though, that entire level 70 pilot that I purchased, that I leveled up, that I spend gold at to equip and level up each and individual of those seven or eight skills that he's got, all of which I maxed. There's a ridiculous amount of gold flow, fl flowing into this. Back then it was gold, by the way, right? Back then, there I didn't know anything about Memorium. Memorium didn't exist. Uh, uh, up didn't exist, and they would sure as hell not be uh, combined with pilot upgrades. And so this was already a big issue then. And instead of using this feedback to make the problem smaller, they went ahead, Pixonic, and created a separate resource and another resource and throw, threw it into the upgrading process of the pilot. So if you want to max a pilot, now you need gold, memorial, and upgrade tokens, which the last of ladder, uh, which is completely out overpriced. And... It's insane. Long-standing issues being ignored and even made worse over time. And then they are wondering why are these content creators becoming less and less forthcoming, less and less happy with the game? Why are the, is the community walking away from it? And how can it happen that one of their main content creators has really been having it with the game at some point when i made videos like this for so long and i know pixonic watches them because i gotten the feedback from them over the years that they watch every video they do uh and uh and then i know there's nothing happening and and even getting things getting worse like if goodness now i want him to use this to, to test it on yeah. a leech. Let's see how much gold that Why costs. Why can't I do it? It's my pilot. I leveled the slots. I leveled the pilot. I paid for all of it. And now it's worthless on another robot. Why can't this pilot sit in this robot and just perform here? Why do I have to reassign all skills? And that's not where the because problem Because they want stops. money. Let's Everything needs to cost money. Let's find out how much gold I will have to spend in order to get this pilot that I've already paid for to do the same thing just in a different robot. Let's find out how much yep. it is. Let's because see. here comes the problem. You see, every skill is leveled to max gold legendary rank. And yeah, I'm not finished. There's a lot more I could complete and complain <laughs> about. I don't want to make this oh, video yeah. 100 hours of pure negativity. Non uh, n not nonsense. It's not nonsense, but nasty uh, negativity. Uh, but I, you know, those are things I believe that you know drive away our players. And let's be honest, guys, we right. have been see? seeing a decline in the player base and in War Robots. I see it every day in the comments when people say, Manny, I love watching your content. And I still watch it from time to time, but unfortunately, I stopped playing War Robots. And every time they gave me a reason for it, I can absolutely understand it. I can completely understand. But many of those reasons would actually be rather easy to fix for Pixonic. They wouldn't be such a big problem. Right? Some it just reminds me how awesome we as a community are and how many of you guys that are probably not even watching anymore. We have lost over the time to something that is really something like this guy said is uh, adjustable, fixable, addressable, but just isn't done. We have lost so many of the best of you guys out there. Um, and uh, awesome that so many, many of you are still here. But, um, you know, imagine how large of a community we could be. Just look at the viewership. On this channel, we had one six million views per month. Right now, um, I, I fought back to 1.8 million. 
Um, but uh, right now, I think we're like at 1.5 or 1.4 or so, uh, averaging down. And it is a decline. And it's not because my content sucks uh, or because I don't do content anymore uh, or because I, uh, whatever reason or because of YouTube. No, it's because the game is simply dropping popularity and it has been happening over years. And the reasons are being mentioned here in this video and plenty of other videos before it and plenty of other videos behind it or after it. Um, and yeah, I, I, I focus on the loss of players because the success of this game is really what I care about. And uh, you know where this led, right? It led to me getting getting banned from, from War Robots uh, because of the passion that I have for this game. And yeah, I, sometimes I, I may mention this in a very uh, rough way, but it's because I care for it, you understand? So Pixonic apparently does not seem to understand where, what passion means. Some of those things could be addressed. Some of those things things should be addressed really quickly, and some of those sh things should have been addressed two years ago. Um, so again, let's keep going here. I have two. This let's find out how expensive this is. We have two million one hundred thirty-two thousand. Is it? Wait, is it? Uh, yeah, two hundred two million one hundred thirty-two thousand six hundred gold. Okay. Let's find out how much do we need to spend to get this um, uh, to get this guy to work on the leech now. Remember, in order to get him to what it has before, whatever robot this Sam Stone pilot was in before, I don't even know, it might be a Cerberus or a Behemoth or whatever. Uh, and now I wanted to run on the leech, and it, 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 for, if for any player this would have cost a lot of gold to uh, to equip it. Now, so let's go forward, so we don't need to on the leech. And here comes the kicker, Yeah. I chose the new skill, and even though I paid for upgrading the skill rank to Legendary Golden, yep. After you switch the skill, which by the way you have to pay for, it resets the skill to blue! Are you kidding me? This gold level tier 4 legendary skill that costs what, 3.5 to 4,000 gold to it make it a gold legendary skill resets to default standard free level after you switch the skill in a different robot. It makes me so angry. Okay, Just... you want us to invest if we want to experiment with... Remember that the strength of this game comes from this wonderful marketplace of ideas that you can have as a player. You can't just experiment with this. With this, you can throw this weapon on this robot and this pilot and this drone and this battleship. You can throw it all together. You can mix things, ideas in your head, and then just realize them in game, and have this wonderful playground of uh, possibilities of customization. This is the strength of War Robots, and Pixonic had completely forgotten that this is where, what brought the game to where it is today, because they monetize every single smallest of all these little ex ex um, customizations so heavily now that you can no longer actually customize. You now have to make a year early plan where you want to go with a setup, what weapon setup you will want to upgrade, what pilots, what skills, because if you make a mistake or if you decide differently later, you're going to have to repay the price so heavily uh, because customization and recustomization isn't a thing anymore because it's so over monetized. Something that shouldn't even be monetized at all. Those are earnings that you do not deserve, Pixonic. A robot that was already upgraded uh, or, or uh, a setup, a pilot, with all these pilot skills. You don't deserve to get an extra money for just swapping the pilot into another robot. You don't deserve it, because you already were paid for that. And here you ask for it again. And not just a little 250 gold for the skill swap. No, you reset the skill to level 1. How endlessly wrong that is. You're grabbing your hand in the pockets of your players and you're just ripping the money right out of it. It's so pilots in a different robot, which in my opinion would be terribly no wrong, rant. because this guy lives from the fact that you can slap this weapon on this robot, you can slap yeah. this pilot on that, you can experiment with this weapon and this mod, this what I just said. a huge playground of awesome robots, so I not experiment around because, because of this, that this pilot skill resets. How about, he makes, let's make a constructive c suggestion. Yeah. Uh, if you want us to invest something into this pilot working on another robot. Okay, I can understand you want a new robot that... 2,000 gold bring even. a new robot and everybody just slaps 2, it on it and it runs perfectly. I understand you want something to be invested into it. 
How about a flat fee of a thousand gold? But and then now all of your skills, exactly how they were before, are now on the new rob uh, on, on the other robot with the same level and everything. Sounds like a win-win for me. Pixonic would still get something for it, even though it's really not something they should get for here. Um, but players will be more motivated to do it, to experiment around and try different things. And uh, the strength of the game would not lose its purpose. Because you can see here, I'm choosing all the same skills. And by the way, since this is a level each. 70 pilot, choosing a new skill directly from the list. Caught all right, let's go forward. How much did it all cost? The total price. The total price was 38,500 gold. To getting every skill upgraded to max and switch to the same skill it was before. To let the same pilot run on the robot with the same what it had before. 40,000 gold on that way. Let's find out but how much money that would be. 8,000 all different prices for different countries in the world or regions. But the best price here for gold would be 14,000 gold plus 14,000 in this bonus. So you get 28,000 gold, I believe, for 110 euros. By the way, 110, isn't that an odd number? Shouldn't this be the typical 99 euros? Why is it 110? So how much? Anyways, euros it. 1.04 uh, dollars or something. Uh -huh. 8,000 for making this check thousand would be 110 euros, but I needed 38,000 for yeah, making yeah. this change for just using what I had. So it's like 100, on 130 dollars. Asked, picks on finding your play style. Yeah. This is what so, so good. the I rest was pretty much gameplay, and um, I just wanted to say these these things are the reason why the game is in decline, right? Because it's too greedy. And it's too that, that you're asking too much. If you were, like I said, I made a constructive suggestion here. How about we find a middle way, Pixonic? How, we, how about we find something that works for you and that also works for us players without feeling being ripped off? Because if you think about it, Pixonic, you will understand that we feel being ripped off if we invest... 100 euros into a pilot that works on this robot and just because we want our same robot to function on another robot it costs 100 extra this is insane how can you even ask for this much but uh, on a side note if you did ask for this much how can you ask again just to have the same thing again and that, there this is where my constructive uh, feedback comes in asking hey how about we find a middle ground a middle way that works for us both uh, but Pixonic has never been uh, interested in middle ways, in finding co uh, compromises for it. They just do their thing, and it's their right. Let's be honest. It's their game. It's their right. They can do with it whatever they want. It's not like we have a, a right to demand change. Although, of course, uh, to a certain point, as a customer who pays for all of that, who keeps the lights on in the studio at PixHQ in Moscow, um, you know... For, for that, we do have kind of a certain entitlement to ask for, uh, to demand certain changes. And if those demands are not met, in the last instance, we have one last solution. And this is the solution that many of you guys have already taken. It's to walk away from the game and said, fine. You don't, you don't listen to it. You ignore what we need uh, as your customers who are paying for, what you, for, for all of that. Well then, goodbye. That's it. And this is the ultimate solution for every player. And I'm saying this right here. I'm not calling for this boycott and saying, guys, let's all stop playing. No, I want Pixonic to understand that uh, we, we are what they should really care about. We, including me as a content creator, but also every single one of the players and and even though we would be at a point to really ask for something like or, or, or make demands like, guys, you know what, let's let's ignore everything. Let's just stop with it. Right. This is not what I want to do. Instead, I feel like uh, Pixonic needs this swift kick in the butt from time to time. And I, I feel like Pixonic actually, 
I don't know, I would say they might even appreciate to a certain point this real talk that comes in from time to time because it comes from the love of the game. But after what happened recently, I'm not so sure if they really appreciate any of it. Uh, I, I, I get the feeling more and more that any mention of any critic's point is not welcome anymore. But it used to be different. I used to get P uh, Pixonic feedback that, hey, no matter what you do on your channel, this is your thing. We are not going to take away privileges. We're not going to uh, to to demand uh, or tell you what you can or cannot do on your channel. This is literally what they told me a few years before. Um, I don't I don't know. Maybe it has to do with uh, the recent change of ownership of Pixonic, or well, at least on paper, right? With um, that we heard about a year ago or a year and a half or whatever it was. Uh, maybe it has to go to do with this, but. Um, yeah, there used to be a, a an, an accept, I wouldn't maybe not call it appreciation, but certainly an acceptance of uh, any feedback or any uh, criticism. Um, of course, now they're calling it mit misrepresenting features. And in one or two instances, I may have actually done a couple of mistakes there to do misrepresent something. The D Gems video was one of them. Again, I tried to fix that, but it didn't matter. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just a I'm just a human being. Sometimes I just make mistakes, you know. And uh, and mis mistakes are something that Pixonic should understand pretty well because they're making a lot of them. Uh, and I don't think they're uh, they're fine from any uh, you know uh, criticism in that in that regard. Um, but yeah, there there has certainly been a change in uh, in how feedback or criticism is being received and. I'm, I'm saying this again, um, lashing out against content creators is always a PR disaster every single time. doesn't matter if it's wargaming, if it's, uh, you know, whatever company is doing it. There are plenty of examples out there on the internet where uh, their game companies have lashed out against their content creators. It's always <laughs> to their detriment. So uh, something like this... Um, uh, to do something like this in 2021, uh, 23, 24, you know, with knowing how it would end, definitely a bad idea. Uh, instead, uh, it would have been good to seek uh, the talk, the communication to talk uh, talk about it, right? Um, but yeah, for now, I'll be uh, uh, I'll be ending this video. I felt like this was really uh, you guys have made me aware of this video again in the comments, and uh, I've watched it and I felt this was such a good video and so. Uh, so up to date still and it's sad that it's still up to date uh, tell me what you think about this I per I feel like without trying to say oh my god I'm so amazing yeah but I really feel like I nailed it with the video also here um, one thing is awesome or good that we can also see these issues with the hitboxes I believe are no longer there those ghost shells that go right through the hitboxes of newer up, uh, skins I feel like this is no longer the case maybe that swift kick in the butt actually helped Pixonic here or well, at least helped the game, right? In a certain way. Also good to see the old atomizers performing well. You will not find atomizers perform like this today anymore. Um, but yeah, with Sam Stone, they're not terrible either. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you think about this whole idea of, uh, I don't know, reliving some of the old moments and highlights from our War Robots experience here over the years. Um, and uh, I'll leave you off with a wonderful end of the week, hopefully, and catch you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye, my friends.